we're gonna have a look at this nice little herb here today. So this one, um, not too tall, it's maybe about, I don't know, half a meter tall. We have a little shorter one, same kind of plant right below us here. And if we look closely, we can see there's distinct parallel veins on the leaves. And we can notice that the stalks are branched. And it's a little more obvious perhaps on this one, how there's these multiple branching points. So that's a distinctive feature. The stems are kind of a greenish color and they're not hairy. And the leaves themselves are clasping, so there's no pedial. The leaves are right along the stem there. Uh, so those are some traits we can notice. And then if we flip it over, we can see that it has these really beautiful little flowers. And the flower stalks themselves have a little twist in them right there. You can see that. So that's where this one gets its name. Uh, clasping for the leaves, twisted stalk for the flower stalk, or Streptopus amplexifolius. So that's the uh, scientific name for it. So if you wanted to tell this one apart from a similar um, looking lily family, uh, Hooker's Fairy Bells, this one has, uh, like I said, more greenish looking stems, not fuzzy, um, and the flowers come along the entire stem instead of at the end. So you can see they kind of zigzag back and forth underneath each leaf instead of being only at the end of the branch. And um, yeah, they're quite beautiful. Later in the season, these little flowers will turn into bright red uh, or orangey red or sometimes even a purpley colored berry. So they're uh, more of a kind of a moisture, undisturbed kind of forest type plant. And uh, yeah, in the springtime, they have beautiful little flowers.